Black Panther is directed by Ryan Coogler and stars Chadwick Boseman as King T'Challa. There's a lot of hype surrounding this movie right now, but does it live up to it? Short answer, yeah, it does. <laughs> Ryan Coogler came onto the scene with Fruitvale Station, which I loved, and then followed up with Creed, the Rocky sequel. In just two movies, he was able to show us that he's not only a great writer and director, but he has some serious versatility under his belt. This got me really excited when I found out he was doing Black Panther, and honestly, it's the perfect next chapter for him. His style resonates throughout the film, he wrote it super well, he directed it super well, and he was able to script an excellent superhero origin with a little bit of built-in social commentary to really drive it home. Chadwick Boseman as the Black Panther is excellent. He's super good at being able to play a king, but also a great brother or a friend when he's needed to be. His character goes through so much more growth than most characters we're used to in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Honestly, it's one of the strongest connections I've felt with characters since Iron Man with Robert Downey. Michael B. Jordan plays Killmonger, the antagonist. While I will say the character does suffer a little bit from lacking the screen time I desired from him, Every bit of time he did have, he nailed. He played one of my new favorite Marvel villains, probably my favorite in the whole MCU. He was able to really show us why he did what he did instead of just be a, be a 2D classic bad guy. I just wish I would have had a little more time with him earlier in the movie. Everything that I did get, I loved though. He's a great actor. Okay, Lupita Nyong'o, Denai Guerrera, and Letitia Wright. These ladies seriously stole the show for me. Every single one of them was on point, but honestly, Denai Guerrera had this like warrior-like demeanor the whole time. It was just so cool. It made Okoye one of my new favorite characters. Letitia Wright plays T'Challa's younger sister and the smartest person in the entire world. She killed it. She was super fun and I can't wait to see more from her. Lupita Nyong'o played a spy for Wakanda. She was like almost the love interest, but that was not at all the focus of her character. I, I would have loved to see more from her too, she's such a great actress, but every moment she was on screen was spent just really getting me to get to know the character. I gotta say too, like 90% of this movie, every single person in this movie just looks stunning. I gotta give props to the makeup and the costume department because they really drove it home. Visually, Black Panther was beautiful. It was colorful, different. It didn't hold back from any cultural influence, which I just, I really love. It did have a few moments of weaker CGI than we're used to by 2018. There were a couple moments with some animals that I felt just could have been better. I found myself having to squint to see what was going on during a couple fight scenes. I don't think it really took away too much from the movie, being that that wasn't the point of the movie. But I do like to be able to see my action scenes really well. And I think Ryan Coogler is really good at that. Usually with Creed, he was able to direct some really great uh, one-shot action scenes. And I thought whenever T'Challa is fully suited up, it almost feels like we lose Coogler's eye for directing a really clean action sequence. Needless to say, there definitely are a few that really bring you back to that Creed feeling. And it's awesome. Just, it's awesome. The script was great. It kept me intrigued without force-feeding me any ideas. I understood all the frustrations and, and needs of the characters, but also really felt T'Challa's growth throughout the whole movie. I honestly didn't even feel like a superhero movie, especially for the second half. It's a movie about the King of Wakanda finding his place on the throne, and I really liked that. For the first half of the movie, it did feel like we were being sorta eased into Wakanda, and I, I don't think we needed it. I really loved the production design, so a couple more scenes in downtown Wakanda would have just been nice for me. I don't think it was totally necessary, but it just it would have been cool. All right, the last thing I want to talk about is the music. There was a soundtrack released about a week before the movie came out. It is separate, so there are a couple songs that are in the movie, a few songs that aren't. It honestly just goes hand in hand with the movie. Ludwig Jorensen did the music for the movie. He did an amazing job. He was able to kind of incorporate that classic Marvel fanfare towards the beginning of the film more and really get us into that feeling of Wakanda. Uh, I actually read somewhere that he spent about a month in Africa. He studied African music. He has no trouble just easing in everything from African influence to, an, to a trap beat. It's super cool. Black Panther is a wonderful experience. It's an excellent superhero origin movie without even feeling like a superhero movie. I loved Wakanda and I can't wait to go back.
I give Black Panther an 8 out of 10. Mm-hmm.